Hi friends! Welcome to Kitchen Princess Bamboo Japanese Everyday Food. Today I'm gonna be making Saba no miso ni mackerel simmered in miso sauce. It's a typical taste of mom's cooking and you can also find it at many Japanese restaurants as well. Miso masks the fishy smell and makes it so delicious, so it's good for a person who is not very fond of fish. Let's get started. First, let's prepare the mackerel. Cut the fillet of mackerel into two. Pull out the bones with a tweezer to make it easy to eat. Touch the surface of your mackerel, and if you feel the bone is there, pick the bones out quickly towards the head you should be there. In this way, you won't break the flesh. If you prepare the fish like this, your kids will love to eat. Score the surface to cook faster. Pinch the sides of the mackerel to give the tension to the surface and slide your knife. Do not go too far, otherwise you will cut off the fish. Sprinkle half a teaspoon of salt. Let it sit for 10 minutes. What this step does for your mackerel Draws out excess water from the mackerel and tighten the meat a little bit. You will see the droplets on the surface that contain a fishy smell. If it's not a very fresh mackerel, do this step to make it delicious. Pour over boiling water to remove the droplets and the fishy smell. Then rinse under the running cold water. This is the perfect preparation to make the mackerel extra delicious. I like the fish, but I don't want too much fishy smells. While we are waiting, let's prepare the toppings. Peel off the skin from the ginger. Slice into thin slices, then cut into thin strips. Cut the long green onion into 6 to 7 cm long. Cut the surface and take out the core. We are using the outer layer for the topping. Use the core in the sauce. Slice the long green onion along the grain. Soak in water to remove the intense aroma. This is called shiraganegi, literally means white hair, long green onion. It's used quite often in the Japanese cuisine to add aroma and crunch for the finishing touch. Set aside until used. Now let's prepare the sauce. We will need fresh ginger slices for the sauce. The quantity is up to you, but I like to add a lot of it for the fragrance and cut the fishy smells. Put all the ingredients into a frying pan or shallow pan and bring it to a boil. Put in prepared mackerels, pour over the sauce, and cover with the lid made by a piece of parchment paper. What this does is cook faster and season well at the same time. Simmer 7 to 8 minutes or until cooked through. Dissolve miso with the sauce. Before adding to a pan, Take out the aromatics from the pan. Squeeze out all the aromatic liquid. Put the miso back into the pan. Simmer a couple of minutes. Spoon the sauce over the mackerel every once in a while. And for the finishing touch, add the milling. 
Milly adds mild sweetness and umami to the mackerel and make it shine to appealing look. Transfer to a dish with the sauce and topped with shredded ginger and long green onion. There you have your saba no miso ni. It goes so well together with hot steamed rice. It's the season of newly cropped rice. This is a great dish served with the newly cropped rice. I'm sure that you can't stop eating. Give it a try and let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. Go to my website for the printable recipe and more information. And my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. Stay safe and stay healthy, and I will see you soon. Bye!